Hello, uh, welcome once again. This is your rabbi, uh, Dr. Afo, uh, uh, reaching you live from Kumasi, this time from the Kumasi uh, Center. And uh, if you are, if it, if this is your first time, you are really visiting us on this site. I will please uh, exhort you to uh, hit on the notification bell and subscribe to this particular video because from time to time I make such videos that uh, will help you on the spiritual path. And um, today. I want to talk about uh, Florida water. Yes, because I've received certain um, uh, questions about the Florida use, how to properly use the Florida water. And this is what I wish to address uh, this morning from uh, the Kumasi uh, Center. Well, uh, Florida water can be put to many uses. Uh, one of the uses that we can put Florida water to is by offering them on our altar. You have a small bowl and you pour some of the Florida water in it and then set them on your altar as an offering to our ancestors and then our spirit guides. So you can offer them on your altar as an offering to the spirits. And you can also cleanse yourself you can cleanse yourself with the uh, Florida water. What we do is that we add a bit of water or we, after we've prayed over the water, and it becomes like a holy water and we add some of the Florida water to it and then you use it to cleanse yourself. Mostly we put them in spray bottles and then you can spray it all over. This one can replace a uh, smogging, smogging. Instead of smogging yourself with, let me say, sage, you can use the Florida water in this way to cleanse and then sort of purify yourself. Then we also can use the Florida water uh, as a clean, for cleansing of our spiritual tools uh, or gadgets or uh, whatever you may choose. Uh, you see, like if your salts, your wands, your rings, your your candle holders, incense burners, you can use the Florida water to cleanse these spiritual tools. And then your crystals as well. If you have crystals, you can use them to clean the crystals. And then after you have cleansed them, you can program the crystals. You know, you use the Florida water. Mostly, I put them in cotton wool. I soak them or I dump them. Uh, cotton wool with the Florida water and I use it as a cleanser to cleanse uh, the, the, the gadgets or spiritual tools and then the, um, the crystals the crystals uh, the Florida water can also use to, be, to cleanse your spiritual space I mean you can put them in the spray bottle and spray around your altar as a means of spring. I, you can also have a small bowl, pour some of the Florida water in it, and then you put inside blue, bluing square. You know, you put in bluing square, and then you set it in front of your door as a way of drawing out the negative energies from a particular room. Yes, yes, you can use that too. You can do that too. Then you can also wear the Florida water as a way of protecting yourself from negative energies. You can wear them as a way of protecting yourself from a negative energy. You can also uh, have the Florida water and then you add uh, essential oil that is patchouli, patchouli essential oil, and then you use it in spraying your uh, cash, your cash box uh, for abundance for abundance and then if you are having nightmares if you are having nightmares I usually will pray over uh, water by blessing the water uh, the usual uh, holy water creation and then you add a bit of um, Florida water and then you set it by your bedside when you do this what it does is that it stops nightmares those of you who have been having intensive dreams stops night
nightmares so we can set this uh, blessed water and then florida water by your bedside apart from uh, stopping nightmares it also causes you to remember dreams many a times i hear people saying that uh, when i dream i cannot recollect i usually will recommend that you leave this water uh, this florida water and the holy water by your bedside and then uh, the last thing you do when you are going to sleep is to pray psalm 97 psalm 97 you can add 23 and then 42 to it to cause you to remember your dreams and then uh, with the coming of this covid issue you can use it as a hand sanitizer and then also when you have gone out like to the funeral places you have met a lot of people you've seen them by so doing you'll be picking the energies of these people some of them are very negative because you know some of them have ill will and when they have ill will against you it is they still have seen you long time how are you doing and so but meanwhile their intent is of ill will they leave these vibrations on you you can cleanse your hands after you have returned from the funeral you can use it also as a hand sanitizer and then you can also use it as a bath as a bath you know when you are going to have your bath normally you need salt as a spiritual person you must always bath with salt when you have put salt in your water you also add a bit of the florida water as a means of cleansing and purifying your yourself and those of you who also happen to uh, stay in a room where you think there's an entity that is uh, disturbing you in the uh, distance uh, you can set it in a, a metallic bowl you can pour some in a metallic bowl and then you set it on fire and use um, some 15 as a way of banishing or 68 15 68 or both as a way of banishing the negative spirit from the room you set the uh, on fire be careful if you want to use this particular method because uh, Florida water uh, can burn, it can really burn. So you must be sure that you have set it safely and then you set it on fire while reading this Psalm 15 and then 68 to banish the entity for the uh, room. I think with this, uh, I've been a source of information for you. And then those of you who are asking me the use of, of Florida water, I'm happy to have provided you this information. And I hope it will be of some help to you. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit on the notification bell. This is your rabbi, your doctor, meeting you or reaching you live uh, from a Utu Bodhiasi. You lovely people, stay blessed. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Baruch Hashem.